so wonderful to see so many people here today. Welcome to GDEVCON 4. I have to say it's a huge honor for me to be volunteered to do the, uh, the keynote today. Um, first of all, safety, fire exits. It's two to my right, it's two over the wings, it's two at the back. <laughs> If, if, there's any, if there's an alarm or anything, just follow me out. I'll be first. <laughs> <laughs> so I wanted to talk about GDEVCON a little bit, because not everyone here might appreciate the origins of the organization. GDEVCON was established in 2017 um, to satisfy what we felt was a growing need in the graphical programming community for like an independent voice. <laughs> one that can express itself free of any like, corporate direction or restriction, control of its own destiny. Um, we wanted to create our own open events, uh, led by the most driven members of the community, accessible to everybody, uh, to help us all grow our skills, no matter what level you're at, to make new connections, both personal and professional, uh, to create opportunities, bring together our thoughts and opinions into one unified voice. So currently GDEVCON Europe is about a dozen volunteers. Literally volunteers, none of us are paid. We do this. <laughs> we do this to support that original cause. Um, there are several key members actually who contribute a lot of their valuable time to this. Um, and upholding those ideals. And I want to pick out one person in particular. I don't know whether she's in the room today, but right at the top there, that's Jenny. <laughs> Without her, this would not be happening. Um, she's the only paid member of GDEFCON. Um, GDEFCON is also about fairness, equality. Um, we get lots of fantastic presentation submissions every year. Uh, and we make sure that we do our best to anonymously vote on those. Um, so the submissions come in without information about the sender. And the voting is all done without being able to see who's voted on what. Um, so we do our best for fairness in that respect. Um, and we got so many great submissions that we wish we had time to allow everybody a moment on this stage to present their, their offer. Um, also, GDEVCON received some unexpected funding this year uh, for bringing our event to Glasgow. Um, Cowell will talk later today about how we're using that to help the local community uh, and also how you can get involved if you wish. And also something else, uh, Steve Watts. Steve Watts is working on a community training initiative, something that's close to his heart. Um, he's, get, he's close to getting that off the ground. Uh, he's here today with some related demo hardware, so keep an eye out for that. Um, I'm sure he'll be around. <laughs> so attendance, growth. Um, we started humbly 2018 in Cambridge, and this is our fourth, and we've grown every year. There are about 200 people here today. This is fantastic. We started with 130 at the first one. Steady growth. Um, but of course, it brings challenges, uh, logistics, tracks, resources. Um, we don't have time for all of the presentation submissions. Do we, so do we start talking about parallel tracks? Or do we add a third day? If we have parallel tracks, do we want to make them different topics? Do we want technical and do we want process and management? So what we're interested in is your feedback. We want to make this work for you guys. Um, we have our opinions on what we'd like to do. It's, it's not a nice decision to go down parallel tracks. That's difficult. And adding another day adds cost. So maybe we make it an optional day. I don't know. So if you're in the Discord group or you see one of us around, feel free to tell us what you think, what you'd like to see. If you like it as it is, don't change it. Say that too. And on the topic of growth, oh, by the way, uh, any of these background images, I've, I've just used AI to generate all of them just out of interest. And uh, as you see clip drop in the corner, that's a credit to the, to the AI that generated this. Um, GDEVCON has grown internationally. We were originally just a European group. 
We now have GDEVCON North America, GDEVCON Europe, GDEVCON Australia, New Zealand. Australia and New Zealand uh, have their first next month, I think it is, it's in October. NA are at their third, certainly had 100 attendees. We're here today on our fourth, we've got 200 attendees, we're well over 300 attendees globally. And it's a worthy note that actually here today we've got people from 23 different countries attending this, GDEVCON Europe, from America, from Europe. I don't know whether we've got anyone from Australia and New Zealand. Though. And of course, none of this would happen without our valuable sponsors. <laughs> so big thanks to our headline sponsor, Conrad Technologies. Um, you'll find them in the atrium, large stall. Go over there, take some food, wave it in their face, make them feel <laughs> valued. <laughs> we've also got our uh, gold sponsors. Um, we've got our tech sponsors, tech cave sponsors, silver sponsors and bronze sponsors, all valued. We appreciate that input. Without those sponsorship, the tickets would easily be double the price that you've paid to come here. Uh, Beckhoff, Gantner and Pickering, you'll find them in the tech cave as well with demo equipment. Now the tech cave is in the green room, which you might not have seen yet. It's actually upstairs above the IMAX. <laughs> so my understanding is to get there, you can either take the elevator or there is apparently a set of stairs that we haven't found yet. So <laughs> <laughs> Steve's pointing that way. Oh, and that way. Both so sides. both sides are upstairs. Do go up there, play with the equipment, speak to the guys. Uh, we want to bring you that variety. We want to bring you stuff that you can look at and explore. If you work with hardware, you can go see these guys. Uh, NI are here as well today. We've got five representatives from NI, I understand. Yeah. Nancy, Pete, we've got some more. I can't see your, eye, your faces. I'm getting whited out. So thank you guys for coming. And a final slide from me. We're using Discord for uh, communication. Discord, if you haven't got it, is a simple app where you can communicate with each other. Just It's a bit like WhatsApp and stuff like that, but it's, it's free, so it's good for us. If you haven't yet joined up, you can scan that link. That'll take you there. Uh, you'll find conversations. If you've got questions for presenters throughout this conference, a great place to pose them is in that forum. Uh, it helps keep our agenda on, tra on track. Um, and of course, if you can't find the presenter, because that's somewhere on the site, you can just ask them indirectly through, through Discord. I hope we have a great two days. We're off to a good start. Thank you very much. I'm gonna pass over to our headline sponsor, Conrad.